Today's video is all about placing and masking an image in Adobe Illustrator. You'll learn how to link an image, how to embed an image, how to place an image inside text, how to mask an image inside a shape. If we haven't met yet, my name is Dan Goddard. I'm a creative production specialist. Anyway, let's get into the video and I'll show you how to do this. I'm in Illustrator now with my document open and I've got some copy here, which I'm gonna use as a mask. And also I've got a shape here, which I'm gonna place an image inside of. So the first thing you need to do is select the image you want to bring in. So you need to go up to file and then place and then navigate on your machine where your images are kept. So in my case, it's in this folder here. So I'm going to select the image and then I've got a link, template, replace and show options. So link will mean that if you give the Illustrator file to someone else, you need to send them the image as well. Otherwise, it will come up as missing. Template, you can actually use it as a template. Replace, this one's greyed out because I'm not replacing any image. And then show import options, you've got some options here. Also, you'll see you've got enable all readable documents. So that will list every document that Illustrator can read. Or you can select specific ones. Also here you've got Adobe Creative Cloud, so you can navigate to the cloud. So for this instance, I'm just gonna hit link. And also you've got hide options here. So if you didn't wanna see anything, you could click that. So link, I'm gonna place that. And as you can see, the cursor is now loaded with the image. So you can scroll down here and make the image the size you want. So, what you notice now is obviously I can't see my mask, so I'm gonna do a right click on that, and I'm gonna arrange center back, and now I've got my mask on top. So I can go ahead and position my image how I'd like it, like that. Then when I'm happy with that, you need to select both the image and the mask, and then you go up to Object, Clipping Path, make and there we have it the image is now masked into that shape you can still move it about if you go onto a direct selection tool which is that one there so you can still move the image within the shape so i've got some copy down here i'm going to select this and i always like to make a copy so i'm going to hold option down the mac and alt down the pc to copy it so, and then I'm going to follow the same process again, but this time I'm going to actually embed the image. So I'm going to go File, down to Place, select the image once more, deselect Link, Place. I'm just going to do a click once and it will bring it at full size. Then you've got some quick actions here. You can see Unbed. So at the moment it's 10 new, it's actually embedded. Once again, we can't see the copy. So I'm going to do a right click arrange center back and there we have it what you need to do next is go to your text select it go to type and then create outlines this is the reason i duplicated it because if you want to change it and do something else with another image you'd have to type set it again and then what you need to do is actually change the color to white so you could double click on there and just drag that up there so it's now white can deselect that so you've got your copy which is outlined and your image so the next thing you need to do is get the transparency window so you go window scroll down transparency and you get this little window here it was also in my side panel but i just wanted to show you how to get it so now what you do is you select both of these and then you hit make mask and there you see the image is now sitting inside the copy. So if you now want to move the image, what you need to do is select it once more and release the clipping path. Deselect both and then you can move the image. And once you're happy with the new position, select both items again and go up to make mask. And that's it. How you place an image into Illustrator, embedded or linked, masking it in a shape or masking it in text. If this video has been helpful today, then please consider giving me a like, subscribe me to the channel for more content like this. And why don't you check out one of my playlists on the InDesign and Photoshop tutorials all found on my channel.
And if you like this tutorial in a PDF, comment images in the box below and I'll send it over to you. Thanks and keep creating. And just before you go, check out the next video here.